Hello, this is Amritam and in this video, we are going to uncover system performance issues using our test tool, Cyperf. Now I have a brand new rig fitted with the latest generation Intel CPU, multi-core CPU, DPDK enabled network card, and it has two ports. What I did is I enabled virtual machines, deployed Cyperf agents, and generating traffic between this client and the server port, just to check how much performance I can get with my new rig. As you can see, I'm really excited to try it out. So this is my Cyperf UI, my traffic generation platform. It's a very simple test. It's a web app, HTTP app. I'm doing a unidirectional traffic. I'm just being greedy, trying to go for 200 gig. I know it's not possible. These are the two agents, basically the virtual machines that are connected to this controller. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to send traffic from VM1 to the VM2, you know, get traffic with responses. Very simple test. Let's start this test and I'm excited and see how much traffic I can get through. I kept the run test running for some time and I must say, I'm not too excited with the results I'm seeing. You can see if I zoom in, it's just five and a half, five point six 5.6 gigs of throughput uh, from this latest generation NIC and CPU. I definitely expected much more. The test is still ramping up, but I know that there is some issues already. Thankfully, I have a lot of statistics that can give me details. I can go to the CPUs and this is where I see the first sign of certain issues. My CPU, one of them is really high into, uh, utilized, it's a multi-core system as I mentioned, but lots of them are not doing anything, they're just sitting idle. And if I go in and debug more, like I can look at the TCP statistic because it's a web traffic, and I can see almost 24 of the 2400 SIM packets that I've sent for this large packet transactions are dropped. And then I can go into the layer two, three, the NIC level statistics and see what's happening if the problem is much more deep rooted. And sure enough, I can see in one of these agents, there is a large number of ingress packet drops as you can see as I zoom into that. So definitely there is some issues. And what I'm going to do now is SSH to these agents now, to look at more details and understand if everything is fine with these virtual machines that I have just deployed. So I went in, and I have some its tool, so I will first do its tool to go after the NICs itself, right? Because I saw the NICs are dropping traffic. So I went to this test NIC, and I can see my TX and RX queues. It basically shows you how much traffic is being sent through the multi multiple queues that these NICs have. Every NICs have, has uh, modern NICs have a lot number of queues. So my TX queues are showing good traffic, but look at my RX queues. The zero queue has some traffic, but all of them, all of the rest are zero. That is a problem because that means my NIC queues are not evenly distributing all the RX traffic it's receiving. It's also indicative of other issues, but let's look at more details. So I do this it's to life and I look at the NIC drivers and you can see that this is a little older ICE driver that I have. And if I look at the website, there is definitely a much more recent level driver available. It's a very simple process to upgrade to latest drivers. And for the interest of time, I'm not going to cover it here. But what I did essentially is uh, upgraded this NIX to the most modern uh, driver for this uh, DPDK enabled NIF that was available. And uh, the upgrade took some time. It was fairly simple. And within five to seven minutes, I had my uh, NIX to the latest uh, ICE driver that was available. And you can see now if I do my each tool hyphen I, the nickname, uh, you will see there is it's upgraded from the 0 0.8 version to 1.12 as the arrows are indicating. I would run the same test for apples to apples comparison, not change anything, you know, HTTP traffic, one directional get with a meg of packets, uh, meg of packet. I start this test and the test should start running in some time. I kept it running, definite Im improvement. I can get 80 gigs of throughput. And I can see my CPUs are now better utilized, right? It's going almost 50%. But more importantly, if I now look at my TCP statistics, I see no SIN retransmits. That's a good thing that already, already indicate there are less drops. But let's go to the NICs as well. So I go for my agent traffic statistics like I did last time. And here we are, they are all squeaky clean. So whatever we did or whatever upgrades Intel did with those drivers definitely fixed that is good. And what I can do also is look at the same it tool hyphen I command, right? Just to again, confirm or hit tool hyphen has, sorry, to confirm that my TX RXs are getting used better. So you can see my RX queues as I zoom in, all these RX queues are now full with packets and bytes showing me that the system is much more balanced and all my TX and RX queues are sending traffic 
almost evenly uh, so we are getting better performance the 80 gigs what I can also do with Cyperf is start now going for advanced uh, uh, traffic simulation like I can add applications voice video for this time I'm just adding a post traffic so that I can completely fill in the other side of the neck you know both gets will be sending a lot of receives and the posts will be actually uploading something from the client side so I do a one meg page for post as well and when I run the test now it's 125 Gbps. So if you remember, we started with five and a half Gbps and a driver upgrade immediately gave me unidirectionally 80 gigs and a bi-directionally I can get 125 Gbps of traf traffic. So it's amazing how, how much performance a driver change can do. I've always asked about comparatives with iPerf, so I would also do a test run with iPerf. And you can see with iPerf, I'm uh, generating this traffic, you know, same kind, one of them will be client, one of them will be server. And we can see the iPerf is running fine, but we are getting around 18, 19, maybe 20 Gbps traffic with iPerf. And this is a common occurrence. iPerf doesn't really open as many connections. It's not as efficient in utilizing all the CPU cores and the queues that we talked about in this video. And that's why sometimes you will see performances, even though for an Apple to Apple page sizes significantly less. And I have covered this in more details in other videos. Thanks a lot for listening.